Now let's take a look at the diffusion of a liquid problem. Suppose that a drop of a dye having the same density as water is introduced into a glass of water. The whole system is kept at a constant uh, temperature and is left mechanically undisturbed. Suppose that one took a movie of the process occurring after the drop of dye had been put into the water. What would one see on a screen on which the movie is projected? What would one see if the movie is run backward through the projector? So we have backward and uh, forward. Uh, is the process reversible or irreversible? Describe the process in terms of the motion of the dye molecules. Okay, so as you can see, when I have a glass of water, I put a, a droplet of dye into it. Uh, if I wait long enough, uh, that is much longer than the uh, relaxation time of the system, I would see a uniform distribution of the dye molecules. And if I run the movie backwards, I would see that the, the molecules would reconcentrate and form the droplet of uh, die. So let's see this in uh, a movie. So here is a hot water and here is a glass of cold water. Uh, of course in the hot water the relaxation time will be a lot less uh, because the molecules have enough kinetic energy and you can see that if we run this movie five times the speed of the actual process uh, we can see that we have more or less a uniform distribution in the hot water after a reasonable amount of time in the cold water the diffusion process is uh, a lot slower uh, for this and other uh, similar experiments on uh, water uh, you can click on the link that I have provided uh, below Okay, so we can describe this process uh, as follows. Uh, when we introduce the drop of dye into the water, and once again the temperature is fixed and the system is mechanically undisturbed so what will happen is as a result of collisions between dye molecules and water molecules dye will spread into the spread out into the water until a homogeneous distribution uniform distribution or most random distribution of dye molecules is achieved the process is called diffusion. And as a result, the color of water changes permanently.
So this would be observed in the forward movie. Now, if I run the process backwards, what would I see? The dye molecules would concentrate onto a drop. and the water would again become colorless. So this is what we would see in the backward movie. Now is this process reversible or irreversible? Well as you can see the backward movie necessitates the motion of molecules in a very special way to reconcentrate. So uh, basically that makes the process irreversible. So we see that since the dye molecules would have to move in a very special way to reconcentrate the reverse process, the backward process is almost impossible therefore The process is irreversible. It will not spontaneously go back to the initial state where I have a drop of dye. Okay, so let's summarize what we said. Uh, we have a drop of a dye having the same density of water. Uh, so it doesn't, uh, what does this do for us? Basically, uh, this makes sure that uh, it will not float. So it won't float. Or sink because of its um, density difference. So we see that this is introduced into the glass of water. The whole system is kept at fixed temperature. So the temperature T is fixed and the system is mechanically undisturbed. Uh, suppose that one took a movie of the process occurring after the drop of dye had been put into the water. What would we see on a screen on which the movie is projected? Well, we would see that when the drop of dye is introduced into the water, as a result of collisions between dye molecules and water molecules, dye will spread out into the water until a homogeneous, so this is the equilibrium condition, homogeneous, random or most uniform distribution of dye molecules is achieved and that means the color of water changes permanently. Uh, this process is basically diffusion. 
if we had a difference in the densities between the dye and the water then we would see that the dye would uh, if it has less density float on water it would not mix or if it has high density it would sink into the water and not uh, diffuse so by having the same density we make sure that we have a purely diffusive process and this would be observed in the forward movie now we have to wait a uh, much larger than the relaxation time of the system uh, to make sure that we have a uniform uh, distribution at the end so this is at equilibrium now when we run the movie backward we have to see that the molecules would have to move in a very special way in order to reconcentrate to form the dye and the water would again become colorless this is in the backward movie and since the molecules would have to move in a very special way to reconcentrate the reverse process is almost impossible therefore the process that we observe in this case will be irreversible